essentially consciousness is kind of fundamental for what we are and then fear and ego and and all these things are built on top of it and suffering mm -hmm. happens when when you engage on that level um what's been known for a long time with meditation you know, in buddhism is when you strip back the thoughts that create the negativity create the suffering the emotional tone of consciousness when it's at rest is something like infinite compassion infinite love mm -hmm. um and it's love has you know a lot of different words to a lot of different uh, a lot of different meanings you know for, for different people um but the idea that at bottom experientially our minds consist of awareness consciousness and this felt state of of, of love which you, know, you might also describe as a kind of sense of, of of unity or intimacy with everything you know if you're if, if you're just being aware of everything you are fully coincident with it you're fully intimate with it and it's a sense of you know love is also this sense of kind of that people people who have taken psychedelics will probably know the kind of love i'm talking about this kind mm -hmm. of transpersonal like it feels just like this is some kind of force in the universe and it's just there to be tapped into fundamentally the way that we're built is you have this biological creature which when it's at rest is in a state of consciousness awareness and love and this state of because love is um this state of, of love is is very related to the concept of home of, of feeling safe and at rest and like mm -hmm. i can come to rest now you know you think of the love of a of a parent like a nurturing a nurturing love that's a signaling of safety and home and so there's one particular feeling a felt state that you can experience that we call love but for me, it has all these facets of home, and you know, um, and it's the it's the kind of north star of our of our being, really. Like as these evolved animals, you need to gravitate towards love. You need to know what that feels like because love is the thing that's going to it's going to bind you to your family, to social group. You know, mm -hmm. um, it's going to point you in the direction of, of maximal flourishing for everybody. Um, and when you the only reason we don't all exist in a state of constantly wanting to just express abundant love to everyone is fear right you, you have kids are very like you know generally quite loving at first and then perhaps very early on they start getting signals oh this person isn't safe i'm going to get hurt if i open up here and, and mm -hmm. we, we build up these layers and layers and layers of, of resistance and fear and and so i think that's what happens is when you use a psychedelic to change the strength of these models you're stripping back the fear and your take something like MDMA is very good at this. You know, MDMA doesn't crank up a love signal in your brain. Love is not uh, like you know, it's not like you have a shelf of emotions, you know, fear and love and all the other ones, and they're all equals. Love mm -hmm. is at the bottom. This this set, you know, the way in which I'm using love here, and then everything else is built on top of it. And so you you strip those away, and hey presto, infinite love, basically. Mm -hmm.